Uh, good afternoon. I'm Dr. John Drought, a steering member here for the U.S. Congress, and I have the pleasure of being here with Dr. Regeer, who has delivered a nice presentation on changes in DSM-5. And I was hoping you might pick a disorder and give us kind of some highlights in terms of how DSM-5 has changed its uh, approach to that disorder. Well, I think one of the best ones would probably be autism spectrum disorder. In the past, we've had um, several different disorders, autism, uh, Asperger's, um, childhood disintegrative disorder, and uh, pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified. Right. All of these were kind of in the autism spectrum. Uh, and what happened is that we found that um, when various centers across the country tried to actually separate the these into in different rigid categories that it just simply couldn't be done. Right. Um, and partly that was due to the fact that um, uh, there were different uh, incentives in uh, various states for uh, eligibility for services, educational services and the like, so that in California you'd have very few Asperger's uh, been more autism spectrum because that was, or say, autistic disorder because that's what was reimbursed. Right. Uh, in Connecticut you'd have a lot more Asperger's. Um, and so what um, um, what we decided is that the most useful way uh, of characterizing these children was focusing on the deficits in either in two domains, either social communication or restricted repetitive behavior and interests. And in order to meet criteria for autism spectrum, you need to have impairments in both of those domains and you need to score them separately. Mm -hmm. And in so doing, it's possible to actually focus the clinical attention uh, you know, on the deficits that the child or even adult has. So so I think it's one of the major changes and uh, you're, where we're collapsing basically four different disorders into one that's on a spectrum that we hope will be more clinically informative and useful from a, uh, from a treatment standpoint in guiding treatment. Very good. Thank you so much for that overview and we really appreciate your being here. Thank you.